Hey guys. All right. How's everybody doing today? We are midweek. We'll be over the hump soon. But since every day feels kind of like a weekend right now, it's a little strange. Harder to be excited. It's harder, harder to be excited for Wednesday. So, welcome everyone. Hey, Barb, I see you. I'm glad that you were able to connect today. Lynn, Bob, and Debbie, and Atkinson. So excited you guys are here. So, I'm Shannon, and this is a glutes and abs class. I had to get down on my knees here to make sure I didn't move the screen so it's still in the right place. But what I'm going to use for equipment today are um, tubes. So if you have a band, you've been in physical therapy, anything like that, you're more than welcome to use that. Every exercise can be also done without the bands um, because I know not everyone has that resource. They're just going to apply a little bit more resistance to our squats and lunges and things like that. So if you have one of those, I would go ahead and grab one. Um, and we will get going here in about two minutes. I am going to go, I'm also going to use one medium to heavy weight today. So, and actually I left mine around the corner. I'm going to go grab that and I will see you guys in just a minute. We'll be starting in two minutes. Make sure you also have your water nearby. Um, and especially since we're doing a lot of abs today, don't guzzle that water. Even if you're really thirsty, small sips or else sloshes around in your stomach is not gonna feel great. Especially when we lie on our stomach to do some back work, it will be uncomfortable then. So keep your water closed. Let's set my clock down here so I can make sure I know what time it is. Class is about an hour today, and we'll do a good stretch at the end. Um, don't jump off before the good stretch. It's just as important as the rest of the workout, so. All right, let's get going. If you wanna turn on some of your own music, feel free, we have, um, whoops, I'm gonna pin my image here, just one moment. We do not have copyright, copyrights to use music, and when we do, it's only certain tracks and so to avoid that, we are allowing you to turn on your music if you like, and we will go without. So, all right, let's take a big breath in, arms overhead, reach to the sky, exhale, and then we're just going to roll through that spine all the way down. Now, all the way down while you're not warm may just be hands to your knees. Shoulder roll back, shoulder roll forward, roll through that spine. Good, and now we're gonna take that big breath in one more time after we stack our spine, one piece at a time. Big inhale and exhale. Good, roll through the spine and roll it back up. Stack that spine one vertebra at a time. Now, shoulders back. I wanna open up that chest. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see here. As I take my breath in and my arms come up, I'm gonna reach back, stretching down the front your side of the body posterior side of the body. Stretching anterior right now, fold it forward. So straight back this time, rather than rounding. Relax those arms and roll through your back. All the way down and all the way up. Good, come back up to that neutral spine. Take a big breath in, reach overhead. Looking up at the sky, opening up that chest, lengthening through the abdominals and fold it forward for me, straight spine, and roll through the spine. Last time, hey, I'm a visitor. All right, so we're gonna hold our stretch nice and low, and if you have tight hamstrings, then feel free to soften those knees just a little bit. 
Roll it all the way up. Nice work. Okay, so a couple of our initial standing movements, we're gonna just add some arms in for to multitask. So I do wanna warm up your shoulders just a so that when we go to that shoulder movement, joints will be nice and warm. Good. Increasing circulation, getting some fluid to that joint. Four, three, two. Now, open and close right here. Open, squeeze. So as I come together in the front, nice work. My shoulder blades are separating and they're coming together as I open. Close and open two more. Last one. Now we're just gonna, gonna go vertical here with the arms, big movements up and down. Reach for the sky. If you have impingement, you have any issues with that reach, bend your elbows, smaller lever and smaller reach. You don't have to go all the way to the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, so I wanna take a big step back with that right foot, or your left, my right. Tuck the hip under. Reach it forward, separate those shoulder blades. Take a nice big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, good. Now, we're just gonna tuck forward with the hip and return to a straight leg behind us. Tuck it forward, hey Bailey. <laughs> They're all right, it's okay. Up and back, up and back. Come on, tuck that hip under. Last one, hold it right here. Option one is for you to stay here and pulse. Option two is for you to drop down to the floor and hold it nice and low as you really extend that back leg and open up your hip. And take a nice breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and step it forward. Same thing here. Big step back. We're gonna tuck hip forward, little bicep curl, press it back, straight leg, hip forward, and release. So, I'm doing a little pelvic tilt here, forward and back, warming up my hip. Three more, good. Two more, last one, right here. All right, so option one, right here, option two, drop your back knee, and stretch it out. Sneak that leg back, even farther, so we can open up that hip. Good, and I'm gonna leave my mat there because we're gonna, I'm only doing one thing down here before I go back to standing, but I wanna come to hands and knees position, round through the spine, and drop the belly, lift the chin. Roll it all the way up, drop that belly, lift the chin, good. So, as you're doing this, if you have pain in your neck, as you lift the chin, it's crunching out that cervical vertebra too much, just stop at neutral. Roll it up and back to neutral. Last one, let's hold it up here. Let's even, if you can, take those knees off of the floor to your position like you're gonna pounce like a cat right here. And then hop it in and roll it up. Nice job. All right, so we're gonna start with a standing series. I'm gonna grab my water. And heart rate is gonna come up with this, so make sure you have your water nearby. All right, so starting position, my feet are hip width apart. All right, I'm gonna sit back. Tailbone goes behind me, arms go forward. Again, if I have shoulder pain there, hands right here, or just a little shallower movement instead of such a big arm movement. So my tailbone goes to the wall behind me, I bring it to standing. From the side, you can see that my weight is in the middle and back of my foot, not my toes, okay? I'm not folding forward. Two more, and we're gonna add on right here. Last one, hold it here, bring those arms in, they're bent, and we're just gonna tap the toes right here. Holding in that, or excuse me, squat, not lunge. And you can decide if you wanna go a little deeper, or if you need to come up a little bit higher, a little shallow knee bend. Four, come on, three, toes leave the floor. Two, one, nice work, hands above the knees. Drop your head, roll it all the way up to come out of it. All right, so adding on again, I'm gonna squat, front kick. Same leg every time for five counts. Squat it back, kick, 
Squat it back, good, kick. You can decide how high you can go with that kick. If you are tight in those hip flexors, it may be a smaller kick. All right, let's do one more right here. That may have been six. We'll do six on the other side. Let's go, six, five. Big exhale in that kick, four. A little bit deeper into that squat if you can. Last one, and march it out. Big breath in, heart rates up. Exhale, I have to do one setting on here that I forgot to, so give me one moment here. Do my little mute, okay. So, same thing, feet together. Zipping up those inner thighs, right? I'm gonna do side kicks this time. I'm gonna go right for five, left for five. Let's go, take it down, kick, down, kick. Come on, feet come back together, down, kick. If that bothers your knees, you go wider in that squat. Tailbone back, good work. Other side, down, out, down. So we're getting all sides of that glute here, outer thigh, main part of the glute. We're gonna do lots of inner in a moment. Inhale, lower. Exhale, this last one. And shake it out. Good work. All right, so we're going to repeat those two. Three legs instead of holding on that one leg for five. So I'll do eight total forward kicks and squats, eight total sides kicks and squats, all as one nice long set. Feet hip width apart. Let's get ready to go. Sit back this time, arms come up if you'd like. Kick, down, kick, down, good, kick. If you don't wanna add the arms, join me right here with hands at hips. Nice work, four, come on, three, squeeze your butt as you come to standing, two, one, squat side kick, eight, seven, chest up, Looking at your camera, not diving down to the floor. Three more. Two more. Last one. And shake it out. Nice job. We're going right down into mountain climbers, keeping heart rate elevated just a little bit longer. Drop it down for me. Option one. Knees into chest. Nice and slow. Option two. Heart rate comes up. You keep going, I'll give you some modifications. Fist for wrist if you have wrist pain with this. Good. Or you can hold knee plank or full plank and get rid of the movement. Come on, hang in there. Four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Nice job, everybody. Let's catch our breath. And then we're gonna go on to our next set. Still standing, you don't need your mat just yet. Smell some water so you don't feel sick with it sloshing around in your belly. Woo! All right, we're going to inner thigh. Feet out, toes out. Roll those shoulders back and down. Option one, holding right. Release those hands. I'm going to reach to the side, reach to the side. So bringing in those internal, external obliques. Okay, this is option one. If you want to take it up a little bit, a little bit in terms of intensity. Hands behind your head. Reach those elbows down to the knee or the quad. Down. Up. Good. Inhale one direction. Exhale the other. Knees track it out over those toes. Don't let them fold inward. If you need to come out of that for a moment, keep working obliques. Come on, hang in. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on up, shake it out, nice work. All right, this time, we're gonna go squat to good morning, okay? So hands are behind my head, my tailbone goes back, I lift it up, straight leg position, hinge forward at the hips, and lift it up, down, up, neutral spine, bend the knees, and straight legs. So, you'll notice I'm not good morning. I'm not rolling through the spine like we did in our warm up. I'm keeping it nice and neutral. If your hamstrings are tight, 
Soften your knees a little bit. So you can bring it forward. Come on, we're really working that back here too. Bring it up, forward, up, down. Last two. Good work, last set right here. Down, up, chest forward, and shake it out. Nice work, we're repeating. Same thing as we did with that first set. Toes out, knees going out toward the toes, not collapsing inward, okay? If it's too much on the inner thigh, don't want to stretch that far. Walk it in a little bit, okay? All right, bring it down for me. Roll the shoulders back and down, hands at the hips. Hold it right here. Let's just pulse it out. And then you can decide if you want to go side to side like we did the first time with straight arms or elbow to knee. A little bit bigger range of motion. Brings that heart rate up a little bit more. Good work. Now we're going to add on to this just a little bit. So I tap, extend. Tap, same side, extend. Three, extend. Two, come on. One, other side, down, out, down, out, down, out. Good, two more. Last one, side to side, eight, seven. Come on, lower into that squat, four, three, two, and rest. Good work, shake it out. All right, squat to good morning. Facing you this time, we wanna make sure those knees don't come forward, all right? And we don't round our back on the good morning. Soften the knees if you need to. Hands behind the head. You decide how low you go into that squat. Okay, shallow, a little bit deeper. Okay, and then good morning, forward. Up, squat, up. Now, adding on if you do not have any issues with your knee that precludes you from going all the way down with me, then try to get that butt down toward the floor. Chest tall, come on. Down, up, squat, lift. Chest is facing the video camera on that squat. Don't fold forward, two more. Down, up, fold, lift, last one. Down, up, forward, and rest. All right, nice work, okay, so down to the mat after one more little exercise. So if you don't have your mat yet, gather that up or if you don't have a soft surface, switch places for me. So I'm gonna do a curtsy lunge. I'm crossing behind, okay? In some people, if they have any outer knee issues, this may be painful and then you're gonna go straight back. Okay, shoulders back and down, hands at the hips, cross behind, center. Good work. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. I will be, I will have a renewed sense of gratitude for my microphone when we get back to the rack. Woo. So I will be heavy breathing in your ear quite as much. Let's go, come on. Now, farther down if you can. Farther down if you can. Step a little bit wider if you can. Big step, cross, cross. Okay, so I am touching the floor, but my gaze is still up. It's not down at my feet. Come on, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, all right. So time to go down to your mat or to that soft surface. I'm gonna reposition my camera just a little bit and we'll be staying down there so I won't make you seasick up and down. All right, good time for water. Make sure that heart rate whew, comes down a little bit before you drop your head down below your heart. So join me down here. Again, one more reminder. So I'm using tubes. These look a little different than the ones you've seen at the rec center. They have a fabric covering, super cool. And then you can use a band from physical therapy that doesn't have any handles or you can forego it and you'll get plenty of work without it. I'm also using a medium uh, weight. So I picked a couple of medium options. I only need a single, don't need doubles, all right? Come on down to the floor. So my heels are digging into the floor. I'm gonna roll it down one vertebra at a time. Reach those arms overhead. Every time from now on when I remind you to reach overhead, you can always 
if you have shoulder pain, okay? So you're either starting here or here with the exercises where we extend. Bring those knees up so they're at tabletop, knees right over the hips. Good, lower leg is parallel to the floor. I'm gonna lift up and start my hundreds breath. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Now, if you wanna change up the movement to make it a little tougher, we're gonna do leg wheels with this. So I bring my feet together, knees together. I go out and in. Out, good. And in, now add those pumps with the hands if you can. You wanna count it out, five counts with an inhale, five counts with an exhale, but avoid letting that low back arch. Other direction, bring it in and out. Nice work. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more. Shoulders down away from the ears. Two more. Last one, hands behind the head. Let's support right here. Scissor legs, eight, seven, good. If you need to rest your head, place hands at the hips. That's your option, four, three, two, one, and rest. So for all of the exercises where the back of our head leaves the mat and we lift up, you will notice I have space between my chin and my chest. It's not a curl like this, I'm not looking down at the thighs. I'm looking up above my knees. And if you need support at any time, you're gonna hold the fingers, not tug. All right, so right foot stays 90 degrees, planted on the ground, or knees 90 degrees, foot planted on the ground. Arms overhead or vertical, whatever you like. Opposite leg, toe is pointed and extending. Big breath in, two, three, lift. Exhale, two, three, lift. Inhale, two, three. Lift, good, exhale, two, three, down, nice work. Keep going. You may come up here. You may need that bent knee instead. When we shorten those levers, arms or legs, takes away a little bit of that intensity. Change feet right here. Plant that leg that was working. Lift, good, two, three. Big breath in, two, three. Hey, Banshee, exhale up, two, three, in, two, three, and shoulders down away from those earlobes for me. I see a couple of them creeping up. Last two, halfway up if you'd like, last one. Big breath in, lift it up, stretch it out. Nice job, everybody. Woo. Grab back of that right leg and roll it up to center for me. So we're gonna go over onto our stomach. And I fib to you because we have another standing set later. So I'll have to adjust my screen one more time. Okay, so go into hands and knees. All right, now here, if you have weights and you have pain in your wrist, this is a really nice position for that. It keeps your wrist more neutral. If not, you can use a fist. And if it doesn't bother you, those hands go directly below the shoulders. Nice knees directly below the hips. I'm gonna extend my left arm right leg and hold. So squeezing glute, drawing abdominals in toward the low back. We're gonna try to hold our neutral spine here. Many of you know I have a little scoliosis, so I don't, I always look like I'm kind of dipped in my low back, but that's my neutral. So find your neutral, keep holding. All right, so I'm taking my arm down, up, out, in. Down, good, up. Going back to my hold, if this is too much for your shoulder or your hip, up, out, in, down, up, out, hold it, four, three, two, and rest. Should feel lots and lots of glute activation, sit back. Halfway if you have knee pain, all the way if you don't. Good, coming right back up, I'm just gonna change the direction here. No, positioning on your screen is better one way or the other. So we're taking it out, right arm, left leg. Find the balance. Hand is right underneath my shoulder, knee is right underneath my wrist. Okay, if you need to just lift up the leg, and that's where you're going, that's fine. Big breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, find your neutral. 
Don't let that belly drop toward the ground. Good work. So we're going down, up, out. Whoops, in. There's a wall there. Down, up, out, in, down, up, out, in. Good work. Squeeze the glute. Three more. Eyes on that mat. Spine is neutral all the way up to the neck. Last one. Hold it. Hold it center. Four, three, two, and sit back. So whenever you go into that bird dog pose, and you can do that as a substitute for plank when we get to our plank series as well, always want to think about reaching your fingertips and your toes as far from one another as they can get, not worried about how high you lift the arm and leg. So keep that in mind for a future. All right. So we're going to roll over again on our back right here. Feet on the floor, roll my shoulders back and down. I bring those arms to front, kind of like a genie. And I'm gonna roll it down, up, twist, center. Same side, down, up, twist, center. So how do you make this a little less intense? If you have back pain, or you're still working on that initial core strength, bringing the arms closer to the chest, smaller movement, smaller movement backward. Okay, range of motion changes how this one feels. It's not in the speed. If you speed it up, you're using momentum instead of those abdominal muscles. Last one. Twist, other direction. If you need a break, you take one. Down, up, twist, other way. Good. Down, up, twist, other way. Roll through the spine, bring it up. Twist. Nice job. Don't let those heels leave the ground. So right now, dig them into the ground as you roll through that spine. Good. Last two. Last one right here. Let's go. One more. Down, up, twist. And now let's just hold those twists. So you can hold right here or you can lift those knees. Come on, try to tap that elbow, tap that elbow. Eight. Seven, six, five, lift that pelvic floor, draw the abdominals in to rest. All right, nice job. Everybody sip of water if you need it. Make sure it's not a lot. It is really warm in my house today, so. We're supposed to get a day that's almost up to 80 in the next week, so get prepped for that. Okay, roll it down. Knees up, hands behind the head. When I say hand be hands behind the head, I'm not doing this. I'm tugging my chin to chest, looking up at the sky. Lift my chin. I'm gonna twist and switch, bringing those obliques back into play. Good. So I'm dropping my back elbow to the ground. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, maybe you've been joining me for Pilates for a while pre-COVID. Then we're gonna do those big scissor legs. So you know we make limbs longer, levers longer, it's harder. Six, five. Alternatively, you can tap your, your uh, heels to the ground every other time and make it easier yet and best. Nice job. All right, so coming up on hands and knees. We did this one in strength, I think it was last week. And this is a great all over core exercise. So we're gonna place our hands, again, right underneath those shoulders, curl the toes, and come up into a little bear crawl position, okay? And I'm gonna sit back, like I'm pressing my tailbone behind me, bring it back up to center, okay? This is my option one, right here. Okay, option two, into a plank, full on plank here into plank, sit back, good, into plank, keep going. Check some form, we wanna keep, make sure the spine stay neutral, good. No rounding, don't round your upper back either, perfect. Four more, three more, two more, come on, shoot yourself forward. Last one, and rest. So we are gonna do one other set in between, then we're gonna go back to a second set of those. We're gonna concentrate more on the forward moving momentum, and then you'll notice the core working even harder. So 
Go ahead and grab your weight if you want to add it. We're going to do some weighted bridges first. Then we'll go into that exercise because it's a great glute stretch. So they're a good pair. Roll it down. Weight is at your hips if you want it. My feet are hip width apart. 90 degrees at my knees. So I'm going to start out just with that little pelvic tilt that we did last week. So I'm tucking my tailbone. It comes off of the mat, but I'm not bridging all the way up. I'm not going into shoulder bridge. Just tuck the pelvis and return the tailbone to the mat. Just very imagine that pelvis is a bowl of water. You're splashing the water forward, sloshing it back. Come on, tuck that tailbone. As you tuck the tailbone, draw the abdominals in. Remember, transverse abdominus keeps all of our guts in. Helps us stabilize so we don't fall when we're balancing. And so every time we inhale, that piece of elastic, imaginary piece of elastic opens, exhale, it closes. Last two, come on, just the pelvic tilt. Last one. We're gonna take it right into bridge here. So I'm gonna do that pelvic tilt, lift, two, three, and then roll through my spine, drop it down, good, and return that pelvis to neutral. Tuck the pelvis. Roll through the spine. Good work. Roll down the spine. Release that pelvic tilt. Two more. Good. Rem remembering that you're weight bearing the weight for this in the shoulders, not your neck. Big breath in. Exhale out. Hold it up with me. Shoulder bridge. Shouldn't have any stress in your neck. It should all be across the back of the shoulders. The weight. Let's just hold it here. Big breath in through the nose. Now, where are your shoulders? Did they creep up around your ears? If you're not using your weight, rest your arms here. Relax those shoulders. If you are using the weight, relax the shoulders. Let's pulse it out right here. Eight, seven. This is a long set. Hang in there. Take breaks when you need. Five, especially if you have tight hamstrings and they start screaming at you. Two, hold it up. I'm going to take my knees together and out. Only if that doesn't bother my knees. Good. I don't have any pain on the inside of that knee joint. Then I'm going to do this. Otherwise, I'm holding. Four more. Good. I'm not bouncing at all through my midsection. It's staying stable. Like I have a glass of water balance there, too. Last one. A little faster. Tap, tap, tap. You should be feeling your butt right now. If not, you need to squeeze your butt tighter. Press up a little higher. Eight, seven. Come on. Six. Knee tap five. Four, three, two, and roll it down. Oh my gosh. Ah, hold those knees up. Stretch it out. Great work. So we're going to do a nice little stretch. <laughs> there goes the troops. Warning us of whew, someone who's not supposed to be here, I guess. All right, so options right here. Curling the toes, hovering the knees. Squat it back, bring it up. You can even squat it back, bring it up, drop the knees. So back and back to the knees. If you want to go to your plank, we're really going to power. Make sure your plank is it here or here. Hold it here. Press it back. Imagine you're shooting out of a rocket. Press it forward. Activate the core to stop the movement. Come on, a little faster here. Six. Five, zip up that inner thigh. Four, pelvic floor lifts, abs contract. Last one, and rest. Good. Nice glute stretch here for that bridge series you just did. So press the tailbone to the back of the room or the wall behind you. Nice work, everyone. Okay, coming over onto our side. So we're going to do some side plank and side hip dips. If you have trouble with your shoulders, and you don't want to bear all that weight on a side plank, then you're going to drop this knee, come up to here, support with fingertips, drop it down, lift it up. Tiny movement right here. Notice I'm not sinking into my shoulder though. If you want to come up higher with me, stagger those feet, whichever direction works, float that arm to the sky. So option one here, you're going to hold it. Option two, I'm reaching underneath and bringing that hand up. So imagine now you reach underneath, grab a tube that's attached to the wall, feel the resistance of the tube, press it to the sky. 
Resist that tube on the way back down. Lift it up, one more. Going to hip dips right here. Drop to knees if you need, hang tight. Four, three, come on, use that waistline. Two, one, and rest. Good work, all right, we're going to the other side. Straight into it, no breaks unless you need them. It's your workout today. Elbow under the shoulder, knee here. This is gonna be your option one, option two. Lift it up, and then option three, lift it up. Reach it through, grab that tubing that's giving you resistance. Press it to the sky. Resist it on the way down. Don't sink into that shoulder. So I'm on a, doing a big inhale right here. Reach under, grab that imaginary tube, exhale, lift it to the sky. One more. Good work. All right, hip dips, drop down to knee if you need to. Five, four, lift it up. Come on, three, don't collapse into the shoulder. Two, one, and rest. Nice job, everybody. All right, so let's just briefly uh, stretch out just a little bit. Relax those shoulders and just circle them for me. Cross the legs or reach them out in front of you, whichever you prefer. And then bring those hands behind your tailbone. Open up the chest. And let's do a little spinal twist here. Reach behind you with that arm. Release that shoulder. Shoulder blade slides down into your back pocket. Bring it to center. Reach behind you. If you can look back at that hand, perfect. And if you can't, then tuck the chin and look down to the side. Good, nice work. And then we're gonna go forward. Stretch that back side of the shoulder. Good, reach it to the front and release. Nice job, everybody. All right, come on, we're gonna do another standing series here with our tubing. If you don't have tubes, everything, you can do everything without it. It's just gonna give you a little more resistance. You gonna join us? All right, I'm gonna move this up for you. Hopefully it won't make you too seasick. All right, so we're gonna really hit all sides of the glute in the standing series and we're adding some weight that we didn't add before. Uh, the other thing is if you have a weight instead of your tube and you wanna hold it here for some of those exercises for added resistance, you can feel free to do that. Okay, if you're using, we're gonna go into a split squat position. So my right foot is centered on that tube. Okay, I can decide if I'm gonna hold here here gives me a little more resistance. And the most resistance is right here. If you don't have any wrist pain, then step it back into your split squat. Drop it down, lift it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, down, up. Squeeze that front glute. That's where I want the focus to be right now. So much so that I want you to hinge forward just a little bit at the hips. Down, up, down, good. Up. So you should feel lots of weight in that front leg. Four, three, if you have the tube and you're hinging forward, double resistance, hold it down, pulse it. Four, three, two, one, and switch. You should feel a lot of gluten hamstring firing there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way for this one so you can watch that back knee. Step it back, find your balance. Drop it down, lift it up. So my hips are coming down perpendicular to the floor and lift. Now start focusing on that front glute. Hinge forward a little bit. Keep your weight forward. So you can see my spine is neutral. I'm not rounding my back, I'm not collapsing through my chest. Good, keep going, come on. Five, four, Three, just your weight forward a little bit. It's an extra workout on that hamstring, quad, and glute. Pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Nice work. Nice work, everybody. So we're gonna focus on some outer thigh next. Okay. Grab a quick sip of water. All right, so this time, Stepping on that tubing, making sure you have equal distance between your foot and each handle, all right? Same options as before. Here's the least resistance, middle resistance, high resistance, holding it up. 
My elbows are pointing behind me, not uh, pointing forward. All right, so I'm gonna squat up, side to side, press out, down, up, side, side, down, up, good. Lift that foot off the floor, come on. Resist, down, up, out, in, out, in. Now we're adding on squat for two. Good, both sides with that straight leg. Out, in, out, in, squat for two. Come on, chest stays tall, four this time. Three, push, two, one, squat for three. Three, two, squeeze those glutes. Watch the knees, keep them behind the hips. Last set, six, five. Come on, I'm hinging my whole body sideways. Three, two, we're gonna stop doing that right here. I'm keeping my upper body straight and I'm pushing out with those legs. Come on, just like a penguin. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, gather abdominals in. Like you're drawing that rib cage to center of your body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Woo, nice job. Keep your tube, we have one more exercise, okay? All right, so I'm gonna place it underneath my right foot, okay? Come up to here, so I'm holding kind of in a bicep curl now. Wrists are strong, okay? Bring it together. So my elbows are just in front of my rib cage, holding those arms straight out. We're gonna drop it back and down, lift the knee, down, lift down. If you want more resistance, bring it to shoulders. You do have to kind of work around that. I think it goes better if you come through the middle. Tube is kind of in the way. If you stay here, tube is out of the way. Keep going. Whoop, almost lost my balance there. Four. Come on, knee strike. Three. Squeeze that back glute as you come to standing. Two. And one. Shake it out. Same thing without a tube. It's a Step back into a knee strike. We're going to that other side. All right, so huge side where you wanna be. And tuck elbows in front. Lift up, holding with a neutral wrist. So I'm not holding them over. Take it back. Knee strike. Down, good. Up, down, up. Inhale, exhale. Down, up, squeeze. Feel the hamstring activate as you straighten the leg. Good, three more. Come on, hang in. Two, whole core working here. One, and rest. Awesome job. Okay, we are done with those tubes. We're gonna drop it back down to our mat. Oh my goodness. All right. Come on down with me, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna do a great stretch today. A little bit longer stretch than usual, so we'll hit all those muscles. All right, so I'm gonna do a roll up with a weight overhead, okay? If I didn't go with my heaviest weight, pick a light or a medium range weight, heels digging in, roll it down. Arms overhead, unless you have pain, you always start here if that hurts your shoulder. I'm gonna show you first option with heels on the ground. Feel that spine up. Press that weight to the sky, straighten your spine. Roll through the spine and reach overhead. Peel the spine off the mat, press it up. Roll it down, arms overhead. Good work, big breath in, come on. Spine is a strand of pearls. Peel it off of the mat, one vertebra at a time. If that's too much for you, you hit your wall with that. Halfway up. Drop it down. If you want something a little bit harder, we're doing six more. Come on, you can do it. Legs out. You're gonna carry that weight with you all the way to the toes. Roll it back down. You're gonna do so without crunching the shoulders into your ears. Keep that body nice and long. Good work, exhale. Now, your option here with the straight leg, join me here if you'd like. We come up part way. Lift, roll it down, just like we were with those bent knees. Three of those, come on. 
Bend those knees again if you need. Smaller range of motion if you need. Last one, peel the spine off of the mat, roll it up and down. Good work. Shoulders relaxed, unless you want to stretch to that midsection and bring them overhead. You can decide. Nice work, everyone. Grab back of the leg. Well, let's come down and do some um, upper and mid back. And you know what? I'm going to try to incorporate my tube with this. If you have it and you want to try with me, I did not plan it this way, so I'm trying something on the fly. So if it doesn't work, I'll toss it to the side and we'll start over. All right, so if you have your tube, place it against your back feet, okay? And then, whoopsies, that, that might be the problem. You can flex, okay? Then I'm gonna come forward, and I'm on my hands and knees, neutral spine right here, all right? Same thing without the tube if you don't want it. All right, so I'm gonna take my right foot, and it's gonna extend back. Left foot, right foot, stabilize through those shoulders. Whoops, there you go. Left foot, yep, if you lose it like me, you don't have to worry about putting it on unless you want that resistance. Come on, press it back. And I have my medium strength to, and I cannot extend my leg all the way, you may not be able to either. Hold it, center toes on the ground, opposite extremity, punch forward, right arm. Punch forward, left arm. Punch, return, punch, return. Draw the abdominals in. Okay, if you wanna do something a little bit harder, come on up onto your hands and knees, forward and back, forward, back. Come on, pulling abdominals away from the mat. Holy cow, you should really feel that in the deltoids and in your upper back, forward. Make sure you don't run. Two more. Last one and rest. Oh my goodness. All right, that's good. I think next time we do it, I'm gonna have you loop this around your feet a little differently. But for the most part, I think it will provide some extra resistance. All right, come on down on your stomach into your W. My elbows are dropped down just a little bit above my shoulder or below my shoulders. All right. Now I'm gonna lift chest and feet off the ground and then lower it back down. Exhale up, inhale down. Now as you exhale and you lift, drive those elbows up toward the ceiling and squeeze like you have a pencil between your shoulder blades. Okay, so probably seen Gillette do this one and I stole it from her, it's awesome. Bring it up, squeeze those shoulder blades, open up the chest. You need to open up the chest every day to prevent that permanent rounded position of our spine. Bring it up. Now, hold it up for me. Option one, option two, reach, pull. Reach, if that hurts your shoulders. Maybe you need a smaller reach. <laughs> Come here, you're such a weenie. Big dog was trying to play with the little dog and it wasn't going well. Pull it down, bring it up. And I don't know how I got stuck with you guys today. <laughs> two more, come on. Last one, no. And rest. All right, good job. Okay, be like, go on, go on. No, we're not gonna play right now. Everybody take a break, and if you need to really separate those shoulder blades, because it's painful, roll through that spine. Separate the shoulder blades. Grab a sip of water. All right, go on, Millie. Go on, go on, no, you go, go on. We have four people in the house. I guess everybody's doing something, and I just drew the short straw today. All right, roll it down. <laughs> Knees up. Knees right above the hips. Okay. Hands behind the thigh. Option one. Okay. I push my legs away. My chest. <laughs> oh. Okay. Knees over the hips. Push it forward. Chest follows. Option two. Reach and return. We're gonna take this up a little higher <laughs> into a modified teaser. Justin, can you please rescue me from these dogs? Go on, go on, Benchy. Last one, come on. Bailey wanted to play with Banshee and she's freaked out now. Stretch it out. 
Reach overhead. All right, we're going right back into that. Knees up at tabletop. This time, if you're fatigued and you feel like your form isn't great when you lift and extend the legs, hold the legs here, tap the floor, return. Tap the floor, just beyond your hips. Come on. All right, if you want more work, arms overhead, reach. Arms overhead, reach. So I am peeling that upper part of my spine off of the mat. Good, I'm not tucking my chin. All right, two more, come on. Last one. And stretch it out. Good work. Nice job. All right, so we're gonna take that right leg, sit up, use a little power there, turn to your side, right knee is on the floor, my knee is bent, leg is relaxed. Hands here to remind me that I should keep my hips stacked and draw my abdominal in. Flex that foot, lift, lower. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice work. So shoulders relaxed, pull down away from your earlobes. Spine is nice and long, like it's coming out top of your head. Four, three, come on. Now I'm gonna start bringing my foot forward just a little bit more, but do not let the hips follow. Last one. All right, we're gonna do big bicycle here. Point that toe. Push it all the way back for me, knee to chest. Push it all the way back. So imagine that you're swimming and you feel that water resistance here with every circle. Push it back. Now, other way, push, pull it forward or pull that water forward, knee to chest. Come on, pull the water forward. Don't let that top hip uh, fold forward on you or roll back. Last one. It's in the front. I'm going to lower and lift right here. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. I'm holding my head nice and low, not forcing that ear to the shoulder. Great work. Let's pulse it and let's just bring that leg to parallel with the floor. And we're just going to slow this pulse down so you really, really feel it. Shoulders back, chest open, little pulse up. Two, come on. Three, four, core is engaged, trunk is quiet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come on, almost there. Eleven and twelve. Hold it here. Drop the toes to the ground and heel to the ground. Toe, heel, toe, good. Pull the abdominals in, hips are stacked. If you can't get that toe and heel all the way to the ground, no worries, you go as close as you can, bring it back. And a little rainbow here with that foot. Three, and back, two, and back, one, ugh. Last set, pulse it at center, eight, seven, chest is nice, or excuse me, um, abs are nice and engaged. Shoulder is relaxed down away from the ears. Oh my gosh. Three, two, and rest. Bring that knee in front. Great job, everybody. Reach behind you. Stretch that out, really work inside. And main part of that glute, we're going to go to the other side. Roll it over and okay. relax that bottom knee. It's bent for me. If you want to straighten it, that's fine. But I want you to really think about pressing that foot into the floor so this leg is not moving at all. Okay, relax. Fingertips remind you to pull abdominals in. Up and down. My foot is flexed to start with. And I'm going to start working it forward until I'm in a pike position here. That's harder than if you stay at center. You decide what works for your body today. Up, down. Up. Hand behind you is a good reminder too for those hips not to roll backward or forward. Let's pulse it. Six, five, good. Four, three, two, one. Point the toe. All right. We're going to sweep it back. Pull that knee to chest. Giant bicycle. Like you're on a huge unicycle with a big wheel. And it takes your full range of motion to pedal forward, working the hip here just a little bit too, as well as lower abdominals. Other way, sweep it forward. As you come forward, imaginary water resistance. So you're pulling that foot through the water. Last one. And rest, hold it out here. We're going up and down. 
Remember to bring it back to center. If it's too much, especially if you have back pain with this. Bend your knee, bring your leg back. Pulse it, two, three, four. Drop the toe, drop the heel. Rainbow, toe, heel, toe, heel. It's not gonna be a big range of motion, no worries, tap. You may or may not get to the floor with that toe and heel. But you should be feeling a lot going on right here. Two more. Last one. Ugh. Nice job. Last set of pulses. Come on. Six, five, four. Hang in there. Shorten that lever if you need to. Three right here. Two. And rest. Bring that knee forward. Reach behind you. And stretch it out. Nice job, everyone. All right, so we have one more little exercise here for inner thigh, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is come back down on my back with my feet way out to the corners of my mat this time. Just gonna be a bigger movement, knees in and out. If that bothers your knees, you're just gonna come here and go into shoulder bridge with me. Otherwise, feet out, knees out, all right, shoulders down away from the earlobes. Squeeze the glutes, lift up, in, out. Roll through that spine, roll it up, in, out, and down. Take it up, in, out, good, down, up, go on, baby. in, out, and down. Last two, go on. <laughs> this is a dog extravaganza today, guys, so sorry. Uh, all right, I have two in school upstairs and the husband is teaching and me is teaching, so in and out. The dogs are not corralled today. In and out, come on, four. Squeeze the glutes. Draw the abdominals in, two, and one. Roll it down, legs out, option one right here. Option one here, option two here, and then option three, we're gonna make this tougher with those legs going up. So. Big inhale, exhale, bring it to here, knees to chest, roll it down. If you have back pain, I want you to stay on the floor the whole time, okay? You wanna make it a little bit tougher. You bring it up, legs are straight, you roll it down. Okay, you decide, I'm gonna stick with this. Knee to chest and slow return. What I do not want you doing is flopping to the floor. Control it down, come on. Gather rib cage together, roll it down. Last one, all the way up and release. Awesome job, you guys, arms overhead. We're gonna do a really nice stretch here. So I'm gonna pull right knee into my chest, release that glute, and let's just circle it right here. Just circle it around and back. Let that knee drop out off to the side. Let it cross the midline of your body. The other way, open it up, bring it around. Big, drawing a big circle on the ceiling with that knee. Other side, pull that knee in. You can hold it here, little movements, or you can make a little bigger movement. Knee comes across, knee opens up. I'm gonna release that tension in the hip. Come on. Last one, the other way, four, come on. But three, bigger circle, nice stretch, drop into that outside stretch as you lower knee to the ground, let gravity pull that knee in. Good, knees to chest, let's straighten those legs. We got a lot of added hamstring work in our standing work, particularly if you were using the tubes today. Now climb up those legs, good, and drop. Shoulder blades toward the mat, and then knees in, hands right next to your hips. A little bit of a curl over here. You can shift your hips side to side, or you can bring those feet all the way over and touch the ground. Nice long stretch down the back side of your body. If that's not comfortable, you are right here. Right here, good. Let's roll over onto our belly. Shoulders up above those elbows. Okay, nice. 
Now I can start here and what am I gaining? Nothing but more tension in my neck to return to work or life with. So we want to slide those shoulder blades down our back, hands in front of you. Gently lift that chest and you know, you can make this a deeper stretch if you need it and it doesn't bother your back. We just lift those hips right off of the floor as long as shoulders don't climb into your ears. Good work and come on up. Right knee comes through the hands. Okay, left leg is back, opening up that hip. And I want you to drop the hip straight down to the ground. Don't sit into it here and face the wall with that hip. If you need to come to a standing lunge instead, feel free to do that. This is a little bit too deep of a stretch for that hip. Other side, let's bring that other foot in front. Take the opposite leg back. Now I am squeezing that back glute, activating the back glute and it is pressing my hip down toward the ground. Good, opening up that hip. Nice work, all right, so coming up to hands and knees, step forward with that right leg, okay? Bring those hands forward. I'm gonna take my inside arm, the one against the foot, twist to the sky. Big breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. All right, step other foot forward. Good, I'm sitting into that stretch, opening up that back hip. Reach the arms up toward the sky. Good, we're unwinding those oblique muscles that we were working. I'm gonna do the same thing here in a plank position. For my super long plank series, I know you're so sad today. Forward and twist. Forward and twist. Good, and drop it down to seated. Nice work, soles of those feet together. Let's just let those knees drop out. Whew, that was a funny little hair thing. All right, so bigger diamond, gentler on the knees, a little bit easier stretch if you need deeper stretch. Go ahead and pull those feet in. And then just hinge forward, transfer your weight forward. Slow that breathing down. In through your nose, out through your mouth, good work. Reach it forward, press it back, open up that chest, slide the shoulder blades down, reach it forward, press it back. Good, you can just cross those legs or bring them straight out in front of you. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. Exhale right here, drop it down. Last one, all the way up. Reach for the sky, exhale. Very good. Have an awesome day, guys. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, especially as it's heated up a little bit outside. I hope you're hanging in there. Thanks for coming in and doing this to help me stay sane. I'll see you later.